All right, hey guys. Today we're gonna be making a iron cross trainer right here. I have all the items placed on the table. I couldn't find any videos on YouTube how to make this, so I'm gonna show you a clear step-by-step -step process on how to do it. So the items you're gonna need are some wired rope, some bolts right here. Make sure you have nuts for it, all right? Some clips, these eye bolts right here with nuts. Make sure you have that. And then eight washers to put on these right here. Regarding the wood, we're gonna have a three and a half inch width, three and a fourth inch height, and a six foot length. Regarding the handle itself, it's gonna be four feet by one and a quarter inches. And I think you're good to go. I'm gonna measure out the wood. I think I'm gonna be going for 15 inches. That might change just by personal preference. I'm just going to the end of my elbow. And then, yeah, you can just measure that out. All right, I got these all measured up. I screwed up the measurements a little bit, so I had to adjust that. But I'm gonna sand them down so I don't get any splinters. Yeah, let's go for that. Now I'm measuring out five and a half inches, and that's gonna be the handles right here. So this is what it's looking like right now. Finish the handles. So what we're gonna be doing next is making these holes right here on the sides for the progressions. So this is my last piece of wood. I just put some holes through it. I put six in, one inch apart. That's what it's looking like. Next, we're gonna put the bolts through here to make sure it holds both of the handles on each side. Just made the hole for this handle right here. Next, we're gonna do this one right here. Make sure you guys use a tad bit bigger bit than the bolt you're gonna be using, okay? So it slides through smoothly. <clears throat> Next step to fit this handle onto our wood, we're gonna do one inches away from there and one and a half inches away from there. And then we can fit the bolt right through there. All right, so the four holes I made on the wood planks were for the rear ones. So they're gonna be a little higher than the front ones that we're gonna be making right now. So let's make it a one inch by one inch. Okay, it's time to put the bolts through. So we're gonna do washer at the end, bolt through, washer, nut. These bolts are eight inches long. I think that's gonna be the perfect length right here. Gives you just enough room to put the bolts on. All right, I just tightened them all down. Next, we gotta put the eye bolts in, screw those in on the very last setting, and then we're gonna try it out. So this setup was about $45 at Home Depot. It took me about an hour to make, and it's definitely worth it. I do not want to pay $160 for the official product.